Can you just please tell us your name and uh, introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Mario Lepp. I'm uh, the president of Drug Tax Foundation, international information facility on substance use. Can you tell us your personal story with the cannabis extract and um, how you used it to benefit yourself? I used it myself sort of uh, in a preventive way to uh, stop cancer. But uh, at the same time I've been uh, treating many other people with it and, um, in, and extract in several forms like high THC and high CBD extracts. Can you tell us what kind of cancer you had and how did the cannabis extract help you? Well, uh, I had uh, a specific form of lung cancer and I was operated for it and I'm taking it uh, so it's preventive so it won't get back again. Simple as that. Did you use it with traditional Western medicine and also uh, the extract? Uh, would you recommend that for other people? I don't take any medicine, what you call Western medicine, because it was prescribed to me and I don't need it. So it's uh, the only medication I take. Uh, and uh, can you tell us some success stories with cannabis extract? No, there's several success stories. Uh, from my own knowledge, for example, uh, uh, a specific patient with a, a skin cancer had a large tumor that totally disappeared. Several uh, patients that are pain patients that are without pain for the first time in like many, many years. Based simply by this exercise, they were on morphine patches that didn't help and all kinds of traditional medicine that simply didn't do the job. And uh, especially the high CBD extract does. Can you tell us the problems with clinical studies and the current situation with cannabis extract and cannabis medicine? Well, the thing is, we have a lot of circumstantial evidence that it does help. But to get to clinical trials, you have to get the extract into hospitals and the procedures are quite... Uh, difficult. We're, we're getting there but it takes a lot of time and as in the US it's even almost impossible not to say impossible to do it. Here in Europe we can do it but it still takes a lot of time to get it off the ground. Can you tell us about your uh, your weed pass or how you're allowed to travel with it but you're not allowed to travel with extra? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the thing is I have a prescription for cannabis and based on this prescription, you can get a so-called Schengen Declaration of the government. And with this Schengen Declaration, I'm allowed to travel all over Europe with the cannabis. Uh, for example, I want to go to France from Holland. I can take uh, 30 days of cannabis with me, 30 times 2 grams, 60 grams of cannabis, legally. But can you legally bring in a cannabis extract? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> because the cannabis extract uh, is not a prescribed medicine such as cannabis is. That's uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but that's the answer. <laughs> the, the, so the, you cannot take extract across borders. In Holland, uh, it's not 100% legal. I mean, we haven't had a court case yet, but I'm sure it's not 100% legal yet. Yeah. We need the clinical trials to make it legal. Yeah. It's, a, it's a sort of a circle, but that's where we're at. It, it will be legal, but we're in the process of getting it to be legal. Yeah, I was going to ask you about its status of the extract. and Is it currently legal to make it? And what, what's the parameters? What's the circumstances around the legality of cannabis extract? Well, the, the, the thing is that cannabis and cannabis is two different things. What do I mean? There's cannabis as sold here in the Netherlands in the coffee shops as is prescribed to patients, which is a high THC cannabis. Then there is hemp. Hemp is, is sort of a legal product that is used in many uh, products. But you can make extract out of hemp, and that's, uh, that extract is actually under the current law a food, a food uh, supplement, call it that. 
but you have to pass through all kinds of regulations to make it an official food supplement. In other words, when you look at the, the THC and other cannabinoid content in it, it's not under our uh, criminal law, but that doesn't make it a legal food product or a legal medicine. You need to go through clinical trials, etc. Is there anything else on the issue of cannabis extract that you'd like to add or say or advocate for? Uh, well, the main thing is that it should be uh, at least allowed as under so-called compassionate use rules, meaning you can so you can actually help people now before we get through all these clinical trials. Uh, cannabis. Uh, has many active uh, components, so-called uh, cannabinoids, but there's also uh, other uh, components in cannabis called flavonoids and terpenes that are really important. <coughs> now if we look at actual ailments, for example, somebody who uh, is suffering from nausea, who needs to be hungry, uh, benefits from THC. We know THC gives you the munchies, you get hungry. People that suffer from pain or you know uh, any pain treatment don't really benefit from THC. There uh, a higher CBD content is more important. Um, now we really need studies of these different extracts with higher levels of CBD and THC on patients to produce data on this. But we have circumstantial evidence that, for example, high CBD <coughs> works very well in pain treatment but also in cancer, cancer treatment. But then again, it's circumstantial evidence, but you need the circumstantial evidence to get the clinical trial. Yeah, we, uh, we are smoking it and uh, we also uh, make uh, oil of it and uh, I can show you how we are doing that and uh, it's, you may not do it in Holland but uh, we already... The little Billy here, he needs like 10 different medications. He Oh, he threw a shoe at me. He's like, he, he's insane. He, he's schizophrenic. And, even if the and they do it. They'll, they'll, they'll put some of these kids on a...